In this video, we're going to walk through the validation process. Validation is an optional add-on procedure that can be used to determine if your gel and gel site system are reporting within X, Y, and Z tolerances. This requires an extra plate. The first thing that we'll do is upload the XML file that corresponds with my validation target. I can see on my target that my serial number is A556. So I'm going to upload the XML file for A556. If you need your XML file, you can reach out to support at gelside.com. Next, I'll adjust my policy if necessary. The default thresholds that are in there are the minimums recommended by Gelsite, but if your application allows for larger tolerances, you can increase these numbers. And finally, I'll also configure the validation interval. You can either manually click the validate button, or you can configure validation to be a requirement at a specific interval, like daily, weekly, monthly, or after a certain number of scans. Next, I'll click the validate button. Autofocus is going to run, and then I'll be able to scan my validation target. We're going to scan the validation target three times, rotating the target each time. We want to ensure we're reaching the bottom of each of the grooves. It's not necessary to see the bottom of the holes, as we're just looking at the diameters of them. When I captured these scans, if my images look blurry, I can focus the system. We have access to autofocus in the bottom left corner. I can see my first scan passed. Now my second scan has passed. And my third scan has passed. These scans are automatically saved to our default directory, but we can also export the results if we need to save them for further traceability information. Now I can click cancel or I can click accept. I'll click accept and then we're ready to use the system. If validation fails, we recommend recalibrating the system and attempting to validate again. If validation fails a second time, it's recommended to replace your gel.